The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, has called on government to provide basic amenities for residents of rural communities in the Federal Capital Territory. He gave the call while speaking with the press in Jerumim Pape, where he commissioned a borehole sunk by the Abuja Archdiocese and CWO. We hope that by doing this, the government will see and be inspired. You know, we have to result to helping ourselves. Is it security we provide for ourselves? Because if you don't engage security men, you, you will suffer. Water we provide for ourselves. Electricity, we have to get generators and so on. So virtually everything we have to provide for ourselves. But when the church comes in like this to support initiatives such as this, we are saying, government, look in our direction. We are also citizens. These people here, you see, belong to the federal capital territory. So they are entitled to good drinking water. They are entitled to good roads and electricity. So this is what we continue to do, that instead of just blaming the government, let us just do the little we can do. And this is the little that these women have done and I continue to do together with them so that we can provide for our people. But we are hoping that someday the government will see the need to pay attention to these groups of people and be able to supply what is needed for their Archbishop Kegam also appealed to well-meaning Nigerians and other organizations in the church to borrow a leaf from the CWO in carrying out concrete good works for the development of the Archdiocese and the society. By now we have 55 new pastoral areas. And just like these women have demonstrated by coming to sink a borehole here, I am hoping that other church organizations will do the same. Not only organizations, but even individuals, those who are blessed, those who are endowed with some material means, they can decide to take up doing a borehole, take up doing a father's house or a small parish church, anything that will help promote the gospel that we hope they will be able to come and do it. So we are waiting for more benefactors, this time not from abroad. Our people believe that our money comes from Rome, it comes from the white people's land. It's not so. We have reached a stage where we have to do it ourselves. And this is what I'm asking, that we should not give up. These new pastoral areas are surviving, and I hope people will take more interest in them and provide the necessary things they need. There are many. They don't have land, they don't have father's house, they don't have the churches. So let people come and do something about this.